For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Madden 24 update video for you guys today. Today is going to be mostly an update about um, some player ratings from the last weekend's game. They came out a little bit early. Usually, I put them out around 6 o'clock, but I guess they came out last night. As they're doing a lot of new drops when it comes to dates as far as uh, title update came out on Monday, which doesn't typically happen. Um, although, I'm looking at a lot of people saying that the title update uh, didn't necessarily fix things like fatigue. And I'm even hearing some rumors from the comment section that the kick meter glitch might be back uh, which is something that's come and gone throughout the entire year so I'm going to ask you guys about that I'm also going to give you guys some updates on my league uh, I did do a video about that and the league is full I'm to the point now where we're filling out the waiting list I'll leave the discord link in the description if you guys want to check that out I'll get it out in a minute but before I do as always if you guys want to continue to do these update videos make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel so let's go let's get into the player ratings first actually I'll save the player ratings because I want to talk about the the update that came out on the first now the there was an update for the fatigue i still am seeing a lot of people in the comment section saying that it might not have been 100 percent fixed uh, in certain game modes let me know in the comment section if you guys are still having issues with that i also mentioned that there is probably the biggest issue in mad right now has to do with franchise mode and i feel like that's more specifically towards um, there's a specific glitch that started recently where uh, after a game was done, the game would be rewarded to whoever the computer decided at a score of two to nothing. And I've heard some people say this. this is something that came up recently that EA definitely has to address. I bring that up because I just started my franchise league and I'm going to give you guys updates here in a minute about it. But uh, if that's happening, you know, I, I hear people saying that that's ruining, um, you know, if that happens in like a playoff game or something, there's nothing commissioners can do to fix it. Uh, if it happens in a Super Bowl, you know, I'm in a money league, so that's something that is definitely uh, can be an issue if that happens. And I will highlight that in my videos um, when I start, when I continue to make them, because I already did make one. I'll try to leave a link in the description or a little pop up uh, for the first video if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but at the moment, I'm really excited with how the league's going. We're going to be starting it up on Friday. I'm going to try to do at least weekly content from it. I don't know if I'll use some of them. And if I have a competitive game, I might just use a specific game for a gameplay or something like that going in the future. But there's a lot of guys in this league that are like top 500 players and um, some really good competition, as well as a lot of people that are just uh, subscribers. That was really the goal. I wanted to get a lead with a lot of subscribers. So I think I, I think I accomplished that, and we're gonna be we're gonna be firing that up pretty soon. But like I said, if you guys want to follow along, you can join the Discord server and just watch uh, the banter that goes back and forth between the league uh, because it's definitely fun. We have over 100 people in there already. And it's something that we just started. Uh, a lot of people are just hanging out to see uh, to see what it's like to be in the league. And like I said, a lot of them also jumping in on the waiting list, uh, which is something that uh, I'm sure will grow over time. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into the uh, the player ratings because that's really what this is about. Uh, the top player rating player that changed, and this is something I've been calling for for a while, is Christian McCaffrey, who I'm pretty sure was in the 99 club a couple of Maddens ago. Uh, he's back in the 99 club, so this is a big deal for that. Anytime as a 99 club member, um, I actually was calling for Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey to lose their point because of how poor their regular season went, but they really turned it up in the in the in the postseason. Obviously, as they're playing in the Super Bowl, so I'm glad they didn't do that uh, because I would, uh, you know, that, that I would definitely would have been wrong there. Uh, one player though that I don't agree with, I think should have changed a little bit, was Lamar Jackson. I don't feel like his his performance in the championship game was, uh, you know, he just went up to a 98 and I just I just feel like his performance um, could have easily uh, went down some weird some weird nonsense though that happened with the Lamar Jackson ratings because of him catching that pass his uh, his catch rating went up 38 points which has to be some sort of record I don't think anybody's ever gone up 38 points in anything and that was a big play but even when Nick Foles caught that touchdown I remember they dropped Tom Brady's uh, catching for dropping the, his open wide open pass in that Super Bowl and then Nick Foles caught one I think that they improved his rating that was for a touchdown that was one of the biggest plays in Eagles history in Super Bowl history maybe in NFL history you know what I'm saying the, the, the Philly special still holds a, a special place in the Philadelphia fans hearts 
But uh, that was something that, um, you know, I don't even think his catch rating went up that high. But Lamar Jackson, off of like a kind of a, you know, not a design play, his catch rating went all the way up to, to, a, to a 64 from a 26. Can't believe he was ever a 26, though. That sounds ridiculous. But still very interesting, even though, like I said, I feel like his overall rating could have went back down a point to a 97 after that performance, in my opinion, because it just went up. And, I, and knowing how EA handles their ratings a lot of times, uh, that's something that I, I, I kind of expected. Usually when a guy goes up a point, that rating's not really set in stone until he continues on that. But he's still probably going to win MVP. So it's not like um, they should necessarily, you know, I, I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with all the ratings anyway. So after that, not a ton of players really changed. I'm trying to go through here pretty quick. Another guy who's been going up all year is Charvarius Ward. He's up to a 91. I mean, he's getting towards like, you know, X-Factor level. Um, he started the year as an 87. And I think he used to play for the Chiefs a long time ago before he went to the Niners. But he's definitely moved up a lot. That's only a four-point boost. But at this level where he's at right now, it feels like he really should be looking to get... Um, you know, some abilities if he doesn't have them already because he's kind of reaching that territory. I mean, he's above guys like uh, Darius Slay, um, who I'm pretty sure has abilities. And, you know, a lot of guys. He's in that category. He's in that range now. So definitely a lot of guys there, um, a lot of information there. I'm trying to, you know, there's not a lot of teams playing right now, so there's not a lot of guys that are getting ratings changes. Another guy that I've been saying for a while that really deserves a ratings change, another cornerback, is Legarius Sneed, who a lot of people feels like one of the best cornerbacks in the game, and he got a plus two rating. So he's been shutting down his opposition for a long time now. He's gotten a lot of ratings boost too. Overdue ratings boost, all of it coming in the playoffs. So in the wild card round, he got a plus one up to an A6, then he got a plus two in the division and a plus two in the conference. So it feels to me like they're trying to make up for his yearly performance because he's now a 90 overall player and five of those points all came in the playoffs. I can't imagine he's been playing that lights out in just the playoffs. If that's the case, he should be MVP. But to get five points in three weeks in playoff games, I'm hoping, I mean, to me, he'd have to have at least an interception in every one of them to get five points in three straight games. But like I said, I'm not complaining. I definitely think he deserves to be a high rate. I just feel like EA was late to the party. They should have been, you know, boosting his ratings throughout the year. And now it just feels like they're making it all up in the playoffs. Unless he has like three interceptions in the playoffs, and I just don't know. Because I don't catch every playoff game. Uh, moving along, we have a couple of Ravens players. Even though they lost, a couple of Ravens players did have some big games and got some more ratings boosts. Guys like uh, Justin Madabuke. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. I know he's a guy that came onto the scene this year. Made all. I think he made all pro or pro bowl starter or something like that. I know he's had a really good year. Start of the year is a 78. He's all the way up to an 88. Another guy who uh, in the playoffs alone is going up two points. Um, and I think, you know, definitely deserves it. Like you say, he's a pro bowl player. A lot of these guys, it feels like they're making up for lost time. It makes, they're, just, they're just coming to the party late. Another guy, Kyle Hamilton, who I know I had people in my comment section saying as early as the beginning of the year that he should be in the MVP, defensive player of the year type of race. Not MVP, but defensive player of the year. He's up to an 88. He gets a one-point boost. His acceleration gets a boost. Anytime you have actual physical attributes go up, that's even bigger. Because the guy's already like 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 um, so to be that, you know, to add, they didn't add to his speed, but to add to his acceleration, which they've done multiple times this year, actually. He actually started the uh, the year on 88 acceleration. Acceleration, to me, is probably one of the biggest things after speed in games because um, they're directly related. I mean, having a top-end speed doesn't really help unless you can get to that really quickly. So to me, him going up in acceleration three points in the year is huge for a guy with that physical profile. He's definitely becoming one of the best players uh, in Madden, and he deserves to be. He's one of the better players in the league. I love them coming out in the draft. He's a player that Eagles fans are already questioning, why do we take Jordan Davis? Because a lot of people during the draft wanted him, and he was still on the board. He went right after Jordan Davis. I still like, I like Jordan Davis. He fell off at the end of this year, but he was looking good at the beginning of the year. I believe what the Eagles do by building in the trenches. Trent McDuffie, another guy. Another guy, you know, the Eagles were looking to, the, the, to, to mock back then. He went up another point. Their corner, their, their secondary is looking great. He's a very good corner. I thought he was more of like a slot corner. I don't think he really plays. I'm not really sure. I don't know the Chiefs as well. I mean, I don't follow the AFC as close as I follow the NFC, to be truthful, because that's the conference that the Eagles are in. Uh, but their launch rating, he was in 80s, all the way up to 88 now. Once again, two back-to-back -back one point boosts in the uh, divisional games. Uh, in the conference game. So it's like they're, once again, it feels like they're making up. I feel like the teams that are just in the in the Super Bowl right now are clearly going to get a lot of ratings love. They're going to try to boost them up. But I didn't see a lot from other higher-rated Niners players. So um, really only was two. I mean, I didn't see, like, you know, Fred Warner, Bosa, none of those guys. I didn't see a lot of those obvious guys, Kittle, none of those guys getting ratings boosts realistically, unless they got some individual attribute boosts, which happens too. Uh, about, about getting to the end of the list here, Von Miller, guys, not playing, got a minus one. 
a minus two to his awareness, which makes no sense. The guy, I mean, maybe off the field, but on the field, the guy's a veteran. Why would his awareness go down? Typically, physical attributes go down while your awareness goes up. But he's down a point two. I think what I, I think I saw that as an eighty-seven. I'm not really buying that. Um, like I guess I don't even know if he's played. I know he's been injured throughout the year and he's had some off the field issues. I don't even know how much he played, but uh, it's still kind of interesting. And that's pretty much where I'm going to end it because there's no. Uh, I'm not really seeing a lot of other highly rated players. I'll end it with uh, big movers though, like I typically do. Um, although I'm sure I probably already went over them. But let's go. Let's go to the big movers category because that's like you know throughout the entire game, um, who got the the highest boot ratings boost. And it doesn't really look like anything's popping up right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, though, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.